three things that I notice on websites that probably a lot of people don't know. Hello, I'm Nicole Homa, CEO of Shield Bar Marketing, and I've been designing websites since 1999. Uh, I was HTML certified way back then, and I also then was hired to help design and then update websites for a couple different newspapers, plus have also then owned Shield Bar Marketing since 2013. So some of the things I notice uh, right away are if there's a favicon, and that is your favorite icon. When you're on a website, it's that little tiny icon up in the browser bar that shows you which website that is related to. When you're designing your branding, that is literally the smallest piece of branding that you can create. 512 pixels by 512 pixels. So not having a favicon is a clear indication that you probably use a DIY builder or the company that you hire to do it doesn't pay attention to details. The second thing I always check is a privacy policy. In fact, we have a client right now that we're going through our marketing playbook process through that did hire another agency to design their website here in the United States, and it does not have a privacy policy. That honestly is a huge, huge oversight. You need to make sure you have a privacy policy that has been developed specifically for your business and covers all of the different state laws that are here in the United States. Now, if you are in the EU, you have even more requirements with your GDPR and all of that fun stuff. We work with clients in the United States, so honestly, I haven't really paid much attention to the GDPR. I just know that it is definitely more complicated and more strict on what you need to have. However, here in the United States, you must have a privacy policy on your website and you must honor what you have in that privacy policy. And if anyone asks you to remove them from your system, you need to do that. So make sure you have a privacy policy. And then a third thing that I notice is on contact forms. So a lot of times people put a contact form up, which is great. You want people to reach out to you if you have a service or a product that you're trying to sell. However, if you don't have a reCAPTCHA form on there or the Google CAPTCHA form on there, you're going to get a lot more spam. Depending on the complexity of the website and how much traffic goes to it, you may be able to get by with just a check this if you're not a robot or you might have a math problem added on there so that way they have to calculate nine plus four equals 13, type that into the box and then be able to submit it. Um, and then there's even more advanced pieces that you can do on there. One thing that I suggest is that you set up a separate email box for those requests because you are still gonna get spam. There literally are people out there who are paid to go find contact forms and fill them all out with random stuff whether it is a drug that they're trying to sell or a service they're trying to sell or any a matter of not cool things that shouldn't be in your inbox, that there are people who are paid to go fill those out. With advancing technology, it very well could be coming to a head where you can't get by it. There's always gonna be stuff coming in, but yeah, there are advanced security measures we can put into place. So the three things, once again, quick recap, Favicon, privacy policy, and reCAPTCHA on your form. So if you would like to take off your marketing hat, go to our website, shieldbar.com, click on the discovery call. We do work with businesses that have five to 49 employees and are doing at least a million dollars in revenue a year. However, if that's not you, I still highly suggest you get on our email list because we send out weekly marketing tips. Even though you may not be able to afford to have us do the services for you right this moment, you will find value in those emails. So I'm gonna pop that link where you can register to get those emails to your inbox. And if you feel like it's too many, you can always unsubscribe, but we'll put that in the description and we hope that your business grows and does what you want it to do.